Well, that last one was a little bit rough and tumble, but we will try again. I was excited about our gets, but sadly, we could not uh, convert them into much benefit. Ooh, this is this is a bad store position. I think we just skipped this store because I don't think we can get much out of it. And then I'll probably zigzag through this nebula. I don't see a reason not to. Yes, I sold the breach. I sold the breach bomb one uh, so that I could get drone control and burst th uh, burst two. I think in hindsight I wouldn't have. That was technically Sector 2, Ray. Fair point. Fair point. Yeah, I I would like to go back in the footage because I think that the uh, fleet pursuit misled me on what I could do a couple of times that run. So I need to be more mindful of that. Uh, we're not giving him a crew member, so I guess we're fighting. They have drone control, so that's really going to be the that's going to be the question mark here. Combat one is not really what I wanted to see. Is, is there a particular uh, piece that you are that you felt was misleading in in that that got us I guess for lack of a better all right they're peppering us a little bit now actually with this configuration I don't know that I can get everybody yeah I think I think the law of straight lines means I cannot. Yeah, I can get one or the other. Oh, they have a med bay anyways. So it's probably not worth trying. Yeah, they're immediately in the med bay. Blazer has to hover over the square the crew is currently standing on. Oh, so it's not room, it's square. Thank you, Any. That I did not see coming. Man, this uh, this slug cruiser is giving me uh, giving me some heartburn. I'm just trying to stem the bleeding here. The law of straight lines, indeed. Whether the ship is calm. Oh, Firebeam has the same behavior. That's actually, that's a really nice little bit of nuance. Let's see. I think we can kill this Mantis if we Breach Bomb here. But I'm going to try Breach Bombing Shields because I think it might take them offline. And then... Oh, their Shields aren't down, so let's just... See that? Another, another Drone Snipe. I'm switching to the anti-bio beam because I think that we might now we might be able to get all of the Nope, they're back in med bay. Gosh darn it. Come on, anti-bio beam. Okay, all the cells that they are in. Haha! -ha! Disintegration ray. There we go. That's an achievement get. So they don't run until 25% health. Okay, that's good to know. All right, I think we navigated that one okay. Let me, let me see this. So that was that was three crew members with one shot of the anti-bio beam. Money in the bank. We spent more missiles than I think we probably wanted to, but... But before, they ran immediately because the ship was calm. Interesting, okay. Their bribe is scrap fuel and missiles. No, we'll fight. They do have a burst laser too, 
So we're going to have to use a breach bomb to get their uh, their weapon system down, but I think it's worth it. And I think our breach charges faster. We'll see, though. Yeah, they're burst too, which would be nasty if if it hit. But we're just gonna we're just gonna hope that we take it offline. Okay, that that worked the way I wanted it to. I think. I'm, I'm not going to wait for the first shot of dual lasers to to charge up here and sync with the anti-bio beam, but I think the anti-bio beam will be ready for the second shot from dual lasers. Ooh, this could be good. Talk to me. Talk to me, game. What's your uh, what's your play here? Their weapons are down, so it's really a matter of stopping that guy. Yeah, more generous bribe. I think it's still a no. They just brought up their ion stunner, so that's fine. They only have three pips, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and sync up the dual laser with the anti-bio beam here and see if we can get this rock dead. Okay. There we go. Got him. Nice. All right. I think their bribe was better than what we just got offered. Thank you for the aid. Oh, but we do get the second half. I'm an arms dealer that usually works with Rebel, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. Okay. So surprise store, flak one. Am I gonna make a am I gonna make a bad decision again? Flak one is really nice. Drone control really burnt me last time. I, I think this ship is a bad choice for drone control. Dual laser flak is a good combo. Do we have any achievements that require... Oh, we've, we've gotten our only anti-bio beam. You guys still shooting me? Settle down. So we could... We could sell the anti-bio to pick up flak. Yeah, that's... I think that's a good point, Mike. It, it was about the magnitude of the sacrifice, not the... Not the decision in a in a vacuum. See, I'm kind of thinking we let the anti bio beam go and we pick up flak. That's going to give us a lot of damage. Yeah, maybe the slug repair gel is is the go to cell. I can see it. That gets us flak. Okay. And then if we want to make if we want to make flak work well, we're going to want to think about upgrading weapons. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good point, Inny. The repair gel seems a little lackluster and a little niche. Let's see. So, if I go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6. <laughs> flak is flak is nicer. Uh, we'll never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Ah, oh, I guess who else has flak? How lovely. I think it's flak and breach on this one, because I think this has a large weapons room. We'll see if I'm right. Yeah, it does have a large weapon room, so I'm gonna go flak breach here, because the flak will tear through the shield and then hopefully do some damage here. And then I think I will also breach weapons because I'm I'm spooked by this combo. 
That's a that's that's high praise, Mike. Thank you. Let's see. So we're gonna we did not get their uh, their flak offline. So get wrecked. I think doors are always a spooky one. Let's get that repaired up. Uh, we'll switch to dual laser now. I'm trying to think if we have... They have no... Now that we've got this under control, I feel like dual laser anti-bio beam is the better play. And I'm going to slow roll it a little bit because I think we have time. Uh, this Mantis is going to take forever to get their weapons back online. And then when they do, we'll use the dual laser to take them back down a pip and then hopefully anti-bio them. Just wait for the pip to come back. In 80 seconds? That's forever from now. Maybe we just go for this. Neither. I, Dang it, I knew I needed to wait. <laughs> Alright, the heavy laser came up, so I think we're okay. Next anti-bio beam, I assume, is going to be a kill? Oh, now Flak is back up. Take issue with that. Alright, let's do this in hopes that we stop their Flak. There we go, got it. Oh, it's it was the breach that pulled it. Hey, Mac, welcome. All right, so we get we get this event again. Did I like the NG last time? I did like the NG last time. Phillips has joined the conversation. All right, so you go here. And then I think I liked you on shields more so than the alternative. And then right now if we want to get Flak Bio Beam up and running, we need one more pip of weapons. I don't know if that's particularly important to our plan here. But it is a thing. Warning quarantine level 5. Quarantine level 5. Noted. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, the Rebel Scout seems to be waiting for you. They're going to board. I'm not super concerned about that. They have a single shot laser and a missile. So I want to get the missile offline. Big, big room here makes me feel like dual laser flak on the, uh, on the weapons room is the way to go. So I'm going full offense. Our shields are about to drop. I'd power down doors if I could. But I think that's the plan. Okay, they only have their missile online. I'm going to let this guy shoot the doors a little bit. He's a long way from, from anything major here. There goes the missile. Okay. Let's get our weapons back online before they get their weapons back online, hopefully. Why is my oxygen at 71%? Ah, oh, it's because I don't have oxygenation. Noted. Okay, they have no weapons, so now is a good time to be fighting this guy. Let's do this. Let's see. The weapons are still offline. Get those nice and red so we have a lot of time. Put some oxygen back in the ship. 
Should have fired the flak for sure. Surrender offer is not uh, lucrative enough for us, I don't think. Just gonna... Unfortunate. This should be the kill, these last two shots. There we go. Actually, they're about the same distance. All right, let's just get you here. We're gonna queue you up to swap in if uh, anyone takes too much damage. But I think we're just gonna be fine. Yep. There we go. Definitely a little tight on reactor on that one. We could use a bit more power for when we go into these ion storms. I'm going to get fully oxygenated. And, I, and when I jump, I want to have my shields up. So we'll swap it to this configuration. All right. Do you want to buy anything? Extra pip of weapons doesn't seem that useful. I think we're fine on reactor when we're not. And we're gonna we're gonna dilly dally in the nebula a little bit. We will attack the ship. Looks like looks like they're gonna have a drone and a single shot laser. It's gonna depend my targeting is gonna depend on what type of drone they have, I think. They have no med bay. So this is this is a relatively safe fight. Assuming they uh assuming they don't have a nasty drone. Okay, this is this is a completely safe fight. There is no way they can do damage to us. So we're definitely going to use the dual laser coupled with the anti-bio to to get them killed. I'm going to wait for them to move so that I don't miss the shot. Okay. Evaporated. Ooh, they're having a bad time. If their shields don't come back up, this is going to be a really nice lineup. Which I don't think their shields are coming back up, so... Queuing this up before it's absolutely ready, just in case they move, would be unfortunate. That's true. I could I could have shifted this over. That's a good call, Ray. Oh, but I but actually I want to get. Actually, maybe I transfer you into weapons. There we go. All right, and then this last bio beam should get this guy. But yeah, I wanted to make sure I was charged. I was gaining shield pips. Sorry, bucko. There we go. All right. That was a good fight. I'm not going to bother doing this. No Actually, if I stay in the nebula, it's jump, jump. So just, just to make sure I understand, because I haven't... I've, I've seen the fleet indicators and I see the bars, but this, this jump and this jump are safe. And then this jump is danger zone. All right, let's 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 science it. This should be a short jump for the fleet. And then this, this is in the danger zone. So we jump to here. This is the danger zone. Oh, then we jump to here and this is the danger zone. So this one is not safe. Okay, let's just do this one then. Uh, Federation ship. 
It's it, it's still very confusing to me, Mike. I need to science with it a bit more. Uh, so I don't think there's any value. I think we get a fight when we attempt to help. We bump into a pirate sometimes, so we'll do that. Hey, there's the pirate. All right. This is a this is a similar configuration, slightly worse weapon loadout and a drone. So if the drone is a combat drone, this is a little spooky. And I might I might target the flak at the drone control in hopes of taking the drone offline, but we've got the right weapons charging, I think. It is a combat drone. All right. So yeah, so a little little bit spicy here. Let's get our evasion up. And then I'm going to do this and the dual laser just as soon as they are ready, I think. Because, yeah, the drone is going to make things very unpredictable. Okay. Things are more predictable now. Are they predictable enough that we swap flak out and try and get anti-bio going? I think, I think they are. That was a really good dodge. Yeah, Mike, we got very lucky there for sure. Now this beam could still sync up poorly with that, I think. Bummer, bummer there. Now with their current positions, the anti-bio beam is really uh, earning its keep. And then I'm gonna go for weapons again, but as soon as the shield gets down, Boom. Crew damage. I don't know if I got everybody with that one. I think the beginning of the bio beam synced up with them moving. So I'm not sure if I actually hit there. All right, they're panicking due to fire. So I think we're, I think we have them where we want them. I wish I had something less devastating to use than the dual laser. Okay, they're powering up to go, but we have... We have death. There we go. All right. Oh, that's right. I've seen you do that, Mike. I completely forgot that. You fire one and then, and then depower. Hmm. I'm going to try and employ that because this would have been a good situation where I didn't want to do the extra hull damage. I just wanted to take down shields, although perhaps questionable. Let's see. So here there's a temptation to save up for a shop. Yeah, I think it would have been close because if we had jumped to here, then this would have either been in the danger zone or not in the danger zone. Oh yeah, because of the miss, that's a good point. All right, let's just let's just jump to here. We will offer our assistance. Terraforming. They're going to ask us for missiles. Oh, attempt to scan the planet. Complete scan of the planet reveals a simple mold. Oh, I never know what to do with this one. Let's say, let's tell them to stop. Any life is valuable. Worst case, maybe they get angry at us and they fight us. I wouldn't be mad at that. Accept the bribe, offer to pay, or power your weapons and demand they leave at once. I think powering our weapons is the best option here. Although 21 scrap is more than we've been getting on average. Oh, it would have been safe, Mike. I'll have to take a look at that again. I think the fight is the highest chance of reward here. I really don't know though. I don't know if there's a there's a hidden great option. I've definitely paid the bribe before and I just lost scrap. So I don't think we do that. Oh, Innie's dropping knowledge on us. Let's take a look. So tell them to stop all life is valuable. You receive 15 to 25 scrap. Offer to pay them. Accept the bribe is best, okay. Looks like we can get an oxygen upgrade. 
Oh, power your weapons is nothing happens. Okay, we take the bribe then. Interesting. How close are we to our next shield pip? That seems like there's no way that's not a good thing to do. Let's make ourselves more durable. Well, let's... We haven't seen our next shop. I don't know if we're going to see a shop. Okay. Since I don't know if we're going to see a shop, I'm going to I'm going to go for the next shield pip. I think we can get away with one power bar to make it work though. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, we could get the shields without the power, but that's ah, really we get the shields without the power, but then the next thing I want to do is the weapon system upgrade. Yeah, let's do the shields without the power. All right. Fine. No way. We will reject their offer. We will regret this decision. Based on their weapon systems, I would say we will not regret this decision. I'm going to stick with anti-bio and dual lasers because I think they're very susceptible to it. And then I think, at least for the time being, we'll just we'll just double up shields. Well, with double shields, we're basically well. This is this is a one shotter. So with double shields, we can go zero engines and leave the O2 on because they can never get through. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because this is a single shot. So this is so we're invincible here. So this is this is not a good idea, but I'm gonna try this. I want to try this. Single shot. So this this was just for practice. It's not a not not critical micro, but we can do this without doing any damage to their ship. You should get more reward the less damage you do to the ship. Okay, so in terms of micro though, so I want to go shoot, then I want to depower, unpause, repower. There we go. Okay, now, is there... The way that I did that, I unpaused briefly to stop the second shot. Do you have to let time pass after you depower something to make that work? That was my assumption. My assumption is that you have to... You have to depower the laser and then a small amount of time needs to go by in order to do that, but I am not sure about that. If you repower it without time passing, it will not work. Okay, cool. That's uh, That was my assumption. Let's see. doesn't matter which one of these we pick. Um, yeah, and we can't go that way. So I did paint us into a little bit of a corner. We're going to have to, I think, go to the exit. So one, two. We can only get one extra node. Kind of unfortunate. Okay. This one looks like it's pretty straightforward. I don't... I think this is the single shot and this is an ion type of thing. So I think flak is a bad choice here. Well, it's better than... It's better than, than nothing else that we can potentially use. So we'll just... We'll just do that. Ooh, is this the two-shotter? No, it is the one-shotter. I was right. Okay. Yeah, so this is another fight where they can't do anything to us. Oh, the Ion landed just before the shot. Yes, it, it does, although in, in fairness, we, uh, we still managed to take some hull damage here. Oh, don't ignore doors. A wise person once told me that. Are we seriously going to let this break one of our one of our weapon pips? Thank you. 
Oh, the event halves your shields. Got it. So yeah, having two was was fortuitous there. Got it. Because otherwise we would have been defenseless. Oh, now, question. If you disable piloting with flak, when you have flak and you target a small room, what is the percentage chance of missing on a small room with flak? That's a, that's a, that's an interesting question. Okay, and we actually can't get either of these nodes. Is it a 50% chance to miss? That seems like it, it's a little high. Okay, we arrive at the beacon. Oh, small refueling. Uh, intervene to defend the outpost for sure. All I see is a beam weapon here. But there's also drone control. Could be a combat drone too. I think either way, temporarily we do that. And then given that this is automated, I think this is our biggest damage. Okay, drone, it is combat drone one. So two shields is plenty. We'll never have a problem with this fight. I said that about the last one, but I think I'm right this time. Oh, wow. I, I'm impressed that it is that, that nuanced. So this is, this is a good, this would be a good training fight for maxing out our shields. In fact, there's no point in having any dodge right now. Oops, let's get... I want to leave the drone up because the drone is training our shields. This fight is not 100% safe. How? How is this fight with two sh Can Is it because the, the combat drone can charge up twice super rapidly? That seems shocking to me. I'm so curious as to how this fight is not safe. Oh, around the front of your ship. Very interesting. All right, well... I, I guess most of that RNG would happen if you, uh... If you, like, put on Cheat Engine and went to get a cup of coffee. Nice and nice. Okay, up to 100 scrap. Going into the next zone, there's a real temptation to get an extra pip of weapons right now and an extra pip of reactor, but an early shop could be waiting for us. So let's at least see what we have coming in the next sector. Because yeah, we can't we can't get away and then get back. So our, our most green blob run is along the top.